Not sure how to know what was good or bad in your last car contract? I've got good news. Here's your training class on how to do a contract review. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as the Homework Guy and author of Is That the Best You Can Do? Welcome to the home of super high intensity training on how to buy and sell new or used cars and today's crash course on how to review your own car contract. 16 different car contracts with the good, bad, and the ugly coming up in just a moment. If you're a first timer here, consider subscribing and leaving us a comment below. Add hashtag the homework guy if you'd like a response directly from me or one of my staff members. We are always glad to help. Our compliments. You can also email me at info at thehomeworkguy.com with a special question, or if you'd like a free car contract review, just black out your personal information and use the same email. All right, every single day, new copies of car contracts arrive in our inbox, all asking for help on how to figure out what they're signing up for. One of the things you're going to notice on these car contracts is that they're all different. Different formats, different wording, everything different. For everyone who thought there was something uniform about what car dealers do, the answer is nope, not really. There are somewhere in the ballpark of 140,000 business entities which sell new or used cars and every one of them seems to have invented their own paperwork. Perhaps this is why car buyers are so easily confused. Today, I hope to clear up some of the confusion by walking you through several different contract layouts and telling you what I would be pulling out of each car deal. Let's roll. All right, this first car contract is a 2018 Audi. Down here, documentation fee, $799. That needs to be fixed. A tag registration fee says estimate, $549. I never like to see estimate in this particular category because I want them to give me the exact number. There's been plenty of times where the estimate is actually double what the actual tag and registration fees are. So make sure you check that out. And then right up here above, true car market average, just disregard that. There's a long story behind True Car, but don't put a ton of value into what they give you numbers wise. So on this particular car contract, $799 minus $75, because that's what I would make the dock fee, $724 saved. This vehicle is a 2020 Hyundai Santa Fe. A lot of stuff going on here. $499 for a window tint. I'm not a big fan of this to begin with, but you might like to pay this $499, so I'm going to skip that for now. Documentary fee, $499. Again, it's too high. The tire battery fee, $5. A lot of dealers would do this nickel and dime fee type stuff. There's postage down here, $4 as well. You know, what I would say to this dealer is, I spent $10 in gas coming here, so I have a gas fee that I'm charging you for being here. And, you know, just all these ridiculous things that they put in there. Anyhow, documentary fee, $4.99, needs to be adjusted to $75. $424 saved and you can elect to do what you want with these other nickel and dime fees they're adding in here. This is a car contract for a 2020 Toyota Tacoma. If you look here, there's gap insurance for $1,050. I wouldn't buy that. Documentary fee of $150, I'd adjust that to 75. So a total of $1,125 saved. I wanna point something out. It says cash down payment, $0. Come on, you guys. And then up here where it says, the payment terms, 60 months, 72, 84 months. This is a dealer that is pushing long-term financing on their customer. I want to start seeing some 36 and 48 month terms here instead of these car mortgages. This is a 2016 Mazda CX-5. You have a 799 CPO. I would pass on that. Then there's a estimated taxable fees of $132.95. I'd take those out as well, and a documentary fee of $9.99. I would adjust that to $9.24 and only pay $75 for that doc fee. $1,855.95 saved on this one. And again, I want to point out, they're pushing 60, 72, and 75-month loan terms. Come on, you guys, get your act together. Let's start seeing some 36 and 48s on these. Here's a 2017 Volkswagen Golf. Down in the taxable fees estimated, $28.50, and then a dock fee of $6.99. I would correct that to $75. $652.50 saved on this one. I want to point something out here, and I give major kudos to this car buyer. The vehicle they're trading in, see the $17,361.75? Well, the trade payoff is $8,500. Here's a guy with nearly $10,000 of positive trade equity in the vehicle that he's trading in. He did a proper deal on the vehicle before. That's how you get it done, you guys. 
Here we've got a 2016 Ford F-150. Dealer fee, $795. That's the same thing as a dock fee. They just left dock out of the title there. Electronic filing fee, this is just another fancy name for another dealer dock fee of $167.50. Then the license fee, whenever you see a rounded number like this, $400, it's very rare that the actual state charged fees will be an even number. So always ask them to do the homework and get the exact number. As I mentioned before, sometimes this number could be $215. Well, I don't want to see a round number there. I want to see the exact number. I'm not giving them more money than they deserve. And then there's this Nitro, $49.95. So the breakdown on this one, $7.95, I would take $75 bucks out of that. $167.50, wouldn't pay that at all. $49.95, wouldn't pay that either. $937.45 saved on this contract. Here's a 2020 Toyota Tacoma. Look over here to the right, think about permaplate. This is uh, generally a paint coating. $3.95, I wouldn't have put that on the car. Taxable fees estimated. $107.50, I'm not paying that. $8.99, a dealer dock fee. Again here, outrageous dealer dock fee. I'd only pay $75 for that. And then again, non-tax fees, $400. Not likely that it's rounded, so I would make them get the exact numbers so I'm not paying more than I need to for our lovely government fees. So here we got the totals, $3.95, $107.50, $8.99. I'd give them the $75, so there's $1,326.50 saved. I also give them a little extra credit here for actually showing terms of 48 months on this car deal. So kudos to the dealer on this one. Here's the 2016 BMW. There's actually not much extra in this one, but dealer business license tax, knock it off, you guys. $138.85. I wouldn't pay the dealer's business license tax. <laughs> what a joke. $579 in processing fee. I'd reduce that to 75 bucks. So on this one, $642.85 is what I would save. I apologize for the fuzzy copy on this one. Not sure what vehicle type this is, but this is the way some of the contract reviews come into us. Age, property tax, $150. Yeah, I'm not paying your property tax, Mr. Uh, dealership. Then there's $399 for the dealer documentary service fee, it says. There's a filing fee of $66 and emission fee of $75. Yep, yeah, not paying any of those. I'll give them $75 for a document fee. $615 saved. Now let me point out something down here at the bottom. There's a $200 cash down payment. Let me explain something to you guys. You're not buying a refrigerator. So $200 uh, cash down payment here. Come on, don't turn this into a joke. Pull a couple thousand dollars out of your pocket. Now we're talking. Here we have a 2020 Infinity, a tire disposal fee of $12.50. Not going to pay that. $7.75 for a dealer dock fee. Again, should only be $75. So on this particular contract, $712.50 saved. Here's a 2020 Hyundai Palisade. They've got $325 for a dealer handling fee. I would reduce that to 75 bucks, so $250 saved. I also want to point out here, the payoff on the trade that they turned in, zero. So check that out, $8,200 they got for the trade and nothing owed on it. Smart car buyer right here. We cropped enough out of this one that you don't see the vehicle type here. But here's a documentary service fee of $169.27. They're trying to be cute here with this 27 cents. That's hilarious. Optional ERT fee. Yeah, I don't ever pay any optional fees. Uh, so no thanks on that 25 bucks there. And then gap coverage down below, $680. Believe it or not, that's actually starting to look like a cheap gap policy compared to what some dealers charge. But I wouldn't be interested in the gap either. I'd give them $75 for a dock fee and $799.27 saved on this one. 1500 is the cash down payment this customer is paying on here. And I want you to notice that the total was 14, almost $15,000. So this is 10% down. Um, double that number, $3,000. And now we're talking. Here's a 2019 Dodge Ram down here in the bottom. Dealer handling fee, 599. No thanks. I'll give you 75 bucks for that. $524 saved. And again, they're quoting true car. Don't put a lot of stock in that data that's up there. You'll see a presentation coming up here soon on this channel on TrueCar, and you'll understand why I don't put a lot of stock in their numbers. 
This is a 2017 Volvo. And as I remember from this particular customer, he decided not to do this car deal after all. But here we have $1,247 in aftermarkets. In most cases, I pass on all of those things. So this is money I'd take out, a dealer dog fee of $499. Again, I'd reduce that to $75. And so on this particular one, $1,247, $499, give them $75 for the dog fee, $1,671 saved. I want to give this person here major credit, total cash down payment. $9,000. There you go. That's getting it done. These last two contracts, this one being the worst of the entire bunch and the next one being the best. So you can see what that looks like going from worst to first. Here we have $1,120 for dealer options. If there's any way to get rid of these, I'd do it. A dealer processing fee, $799. Then there is an extended service contract, $1,163.90. No thanks. A maintenance contract with tax, 1905.50. Again, no thanks. Gap insurance, 395. That's actually a pretty low cost gap insurance policy there. Then they have purchasers online systems filing fee, $12.60. Now they're just trying to nickel and dime you. Then a dealer's business license tax, 31.24. I'm not paying your taxes, dealer. You cover your own taxes. So here we go, $1,120, I'd give them $75 for the dock fee and save myself $5,352.24 on this car deal. And here's the last one I'm going to share with you today. This particular car contract, awesome. Accessories, service contract, gap, all those are zero, zero, zeros. You don't see any other major fees on here. The only thing I have circled is the title inspection and dock fee category. They've kind of sandwiched a bunch of things together. You don't really know what the dock fee is. Normally I pay $75 and that's it. So have them break this out. But all total, this is the cleanest contract I've seen in a long time. So whoever got this deal, you win the clean contract award. Congratulations. There you go. You should now be a graduate level buyer on how to review your own car contract. If you appreciated the video today, consider giving us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And if you include hashtag the homework guy, you improve your chances of getting a response directly from me or one of my staff members. Share the video on social media with your friends and use the hashtag again. You can be a part of the change the auto industry desperately needs. If you've watched all the videos on this channel, let me know what you learned. How did you apply the techniques to win on your last car deal? It's great hearing from you and other viewers learned something from your shared experiences. For those of you who'd like to say thanks for the tip, I'll leave the links for PayPal and the Cash App in the description box down below. I've helped millions of car buyers with videos like this one and will continue to bring you more quality content in the days ahead. If you signed a smoking hot deal recently, consider sharing the details in the comments section below. By sharing your shopping stories, you're adding to the super high intensity training everyone gets by visiting the Homework Guy channel. The Homework Guy videos are literally exploding on the web right now thanks to all of you coming back to visit, sharing it with your family and friends and being a part of bringing awareness to shoppers in the auto industry. You guys rock. That's it for now. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care, everyone.